welcome back, boat lovers, to another so-called spring day. I've been trying to work out just how I am going to turn this boat hull over. I've bought a couple of chain block pulleys, or three actually, block and tackles, and I think if I make up some brackets uh, to, to attach them with, I should be able to hoist this thing up bit by bit and turn it over by myself. I have been told by my better half, in no uncertain terms, that I must under no circumstances whatsoever attempt to do this by myself. And as much as I do appreciate her concerns for my well-being, she's not here right now. So I think I will have a go at it alone. I mean, really, what could go wrong? steel garden edging so I think I should be able to cut into a couple of appropriate length strips and then use them as sort of big U brackets to go around the hull so I need something to uh, something to attach the pulleys to that's not going to slip so I'll slice a couple of these up weld them together and see if that does the trick With three layers of 12 mil, 12 mil ply, the hull's actually about 36 mil thick, maybe 37 once you add in the uh, the epoxy thickness. Uh, so I'm just going to make these, I'm going to bend these at about 45, give myself a little bit of room to slide the brackets over, and uh, hopefully that'll do the trick. Let's go. drag these over by hand but any excuse to get out the tractor why not it might be a mini tractor but it's still a tractor hopefully I can just put a clamp on these and then drag them along behind the tractor Much more fun using garden edging to turn a boat over than making a garden. 
I say. No sailor's knots going on here. Bit of a weld on these and drill a couple of holes in the other end. And fingers crossed, that's the brackets, mate. <laughs> well, I got there with those brackets in the end. So, what we need to do to get a pulley through here, I need to cut a hole through the ceiling. So the plan is to take out a roof sheet, cut a hole in the ceiling to make space for the pulley chain to go through. Let's get this hole cut in the roof. everything up here including a kitchen sink I've moved everything back to the sides to keep the weight off this because normally there are some support holes underneath but I've had to take all of that out to be able to fit the boat in hence I've got tension straps in a few places going to the to the roof trusses just to take a bit more of the weight so nothing falls on my head Okay, the plan is get that rope through the top of that truss up there, which is a lot taller than I can reach from the ladder. So, my ingenious plan is thread the rope through a piece of flexible conduit and see if we can push that through. Okay, let's give it a go.
starting to lift. See that we're up off the up off the ground now. Round two. So far, so good. Uh, however, the chain that's going through the ceiling of the mezzanine, of the mezzanine roof is getting chewed out. I'll show you that. So I need to go up and do something about that. Okay, a little preca precarious, but it should do the job. So I've just, I'll put a tension strap from the top of that lock and tackle right back to the truss over there. We'll probably need one running the other way as well, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Massive surfboard is quite flexible at this stage until of course it's turned over and completely braced. However, fingers crossed, we'll get it turned over and all will be well. I'll give you a look underneath at this stage. Quite precarious. So that's the angle she's on at the moment. All my leftover workings underneath. So quite a platform. Wow, look at that. I'll give you the full, the full walk around. That's what she looks like at the moment. Getting ready for the big, the big turnover. I've got some bracing, bracing struts here. Going back to the main supports for the shed to stop that from slipping. I've got one here and I've also got one a little bit further along. You can see that one, the treated pine bearer there. There we go. Right, let's continue. sure if that was going to work but we are actually past the halfway mark I had to adjust adjust the pulleys a little bit but now I have to lay it down and let the bottom move across that way as we lie it down I'm gonna put it on a whole lot of crates so it's up off the ground a little bit uh, for the first stage of the work so I'll start releasing the pulleys and see if it goes to plan Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Tschüss.